As a GroupWise administrator, you might get occasional reports that GroupWise is slow or unresponsive. The first thing I check is the POA to determine if the problem is widespread and likely to be impacting several users. This video will show you how to quickly determine the status of your post office agent and if it's performing as expected. To start, open the web page for the service. Open a browser, enter the IP address of the server, then specify the port. 7181 is the default port number for a post office agent. That port can be different if you are running on a cluster or if you have multiple post offices running on a single server. The first screen displayed is the status screen and it provides a lot of information. I like to scan from the top down so the first thing I look at is the uptime. If this value is very short it indicates a recent restart. Was that planned or did something crash? Likewise, if the agent has been up for several months, then when was the last patch applied? Is the code current? Is it time for a restart? The next thing I note is the number of users currently on the system, just to make sure it is within expectations. I also take a look at the other values in this section to see if anything looks suspicious. It helps if you have an idea of what these values are under a typical load. Then I skip down to the client server handler threads. I note all three values here. The first tells me the total number of threads, the second tells me how many are currently busy, and the third lets me know if there has recently been a spike. If your system has only six threads like this one, then I'd strongly recommend an increase. Now see the video on quick tweaks for POA performance. Client server threads are responsible for all user interface actions. If these threads get hung up, then your users will experience slow performance. Clicking on the link takes us to a page with additional detail. I usually hit the F5 key a few times to refresh and see how quickly the threads are being processed. If you manage to catch a thread, you will see a value in this last column. The thread will also turn into a link you can click to see what that specific thread is doing. If I ever see a thread with time elapsed in the double digits or more, then I get concerned. If there are several threads taking several seconds to process, then I know something is wrong. Go back to the status page and look at the GW check worker threads and the quick finder indexing threads. If these are busy, that might explain the backed up client server threads as well as general slow performance. Let these processes complete and that should restore performance. Now scroll down to the bottom of this page and check out the available disk space. Running out of disk space can cause all kinds of issues, so allocate more space, if possible, and run some cleanup options on the post office to reduce your space needs. And finally, take advantage of the log files found under the Log Files tab here. You will see a list of all log files available. The most recent will be at the bottom of the list. In normal log level mode, there can be a lot of data here. Verbose mode adds even more, so a quick tip is to enter text in this box to filter. For example, the user's ID who reported the problem. You can also select a number of log files to search based on the time the problem was reported. Pressing View Events will bring up the pertinent lines from the selected logs and can help track down issues. If the username doesn't help, you can always try entering a specific error code number or even just the word error to see if there are patterns of errors in the logs. We hope you find this information helpful. Additional details are available in the documentation and more in-depth GroupWise training is available from Microfocus. Thank you.